Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie Channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Earth and Life Science which is all about marine and coastal processes and their effects. And this will be the first quarter topic and week 6. This lesson is under the milk based. Before we proceed to our discussion, so let us have an activity first called Find Me. So all you have to do is to encircle each of the words from the list on the right side and the words may appear horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. After finding the words, give a short definition of each of these words below. Coastal processes occur where waves break on the shore not only on ocean or sea coast but also to the other water systems like lakes and ponds. A sea can never be considered as such without waves. Waves are formed caused by the winds and controlled by wind speed. Main characteristics of waves are height or amplitude, wavelength, and the wave period or frequency. Waves motion dies out with deep. There are two types of waves, the constructive and the destructive wave. Constructive waves are small in height has a gentle angle and has lesser energy, while the destructive waves are large in height, steeper waves, and lots of energy. The two kinds of waves were previously introduced, including its characteristics. These waves also include the swash and backwash. Swash is when rush up to the beach after a powerful wave breaks, while the backwash is the one that returns to the sea and is less powerful. There is a strong swash and a weak backwash in the constructive wave, while a weak swash and a strong backwash happens during the destructive waves. During low tide, winds pick up drying sand and blow it towards the land in order to form sand dunes. Sand dunes help maintain the barrier islands. When major storms or hurricanes occur, it washes both sand and the seawater landward into lagoons and sward from barrier islands and then sand moves back up on the higher beach in milder weather and the wind blows some dry sand into the dunes again. Unfortunately, most dunes along the coast were flattened or for economical purposes like building roads, parking areas and houses or to improve views of the sea. There are different processes of erosion that also happens not only in the land but also in the coastal zones. The following are the processes of erosion. The first one is the hydraulic action. It includes the power of the water. Another example is the abrasion. It is where the rocks and the sand that are thrown against the coast. Another process of erosion is the compressed air. It is the trap in small crevices in the rock by waves which causes minute explosion which eventually shatter the rock. Another example is the attrition. It is where the rocks wearing off each other. Another example of processes of erosion is the solution. It is where the salts in seawater dissolving rock especially the sedimentary rock. Depositional features, it is dominated by deposition of sediments and reworking by longshore drift. Whatever gets eroded from an area of the coast will eventually get deposited in another area. Coastal deposition features are often the important economic benefit such as tourism. 
The following are the example of coastal landforms. The first one is the spits. It is an extended stretch of beach material that projects out to the sea and is joined to mainland at one end. And another example is the deltas. These are wetlands that are formed from where river empty their water and sediments into another body of water, such as an ocean, lake, or another river. Thank you.